January 21st, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off with um, the extinction protocol. Excuse me. Um, massive magma swell causes ground to bulge at Yellowstone. January 21st, Yellowstone National Park Super Volcano just took a deep breath, causing miles of ground to rise dramatically, scientists report. And of course, the story goes on and on. <clears throat> Here's the point I wanted to bring up in this article. Quote, at the beginning we were concerned it could be leading up to an eruption, said Smith, who co-authored a paper on the surge published in the December 3rd, 2010 edition of Geophysical Research Letters. So this is ongoing. But once we saw the magma was at a depth of 10 kilometers, why is it always with 10 kilometers? Uh, we weren't so concerned. If it had been in the depths of two or three kilometers, one or two miles, we'd have been a lot more concerned. Studies of the surge, he added, may offer valuable clues about what's going on in the volcano's subterranean plumbing, which may eventually help science predict when Yellowstone's next volcanic burp will break out. And of course, they've got a fear piece uh, what will happen when Yellowstone goes off, and uh, we've all seen the documentaries on that. They also have a story, flooding sweeps across the United Kingdom as snow melts. January 21st, torrential rain sweeps across Wee count County at the weekend, causing flooding at the road closures as the big thaw continued. Heavy rain and snow melt due to rising temperatures led Scottish Environmental Protection Agency to issue flood alert in uh, Clackmanan Shire at 9.15 a.m. on Sunday. And then they went on through different closings and floodings that happened throughout the United Kingdom. A Yucatan Peninsula seismic anomaly brings tremors. A 5.0 quake struck Chiapas, Mexico at the depth of 161 kilometers. We weren't very surprised to see a quake strike around the Yucatan. And then if, um, they've got a story death toll from flooding in Brazil could top a thousand rain continues to fall. I've seen other reports where the floodwaters are starting to recede <clears throat> and again they're just just mess and mess and mess. Heavy snow warnings issued for Shanghai, China. Uh, this was yesterday. China warmed of heavy snow in Shanghai and surrounding regions today and tomorrow and advised against unnecessary outdoor activity. The National Meteorological Center of China said, Ice and snow removal operations delayed flights out of Shanghai's uh, Padong and, I'm not going to slur it, airports. Uh, the authority said on the website today, so uh, China's still having snows and stuff, and as you remember, I, I did that story on Mongolia just being hammered by snow, and they're running out of resources and whatnot yesterday. Uh, let's go over to um, Earth Changes or Scott.net. Um, they have a piece on uh, the Japanese dolphin slaughter caught on video yet again. Uh, seems every year um, people catching these fishermen killing these dolphins. Another story hundreds of Yekatan, South Dakota birds poisoned by the USDA. Um, so the USDA is coming out and taking the blame, saying they're laying out um, poison seed for a lot of these birds happening in the United States. Uh, they got a happy piece about um, some remarkable blizzard photos in New York City. And their uh, Yellowstone story, of course. Uh, more pelicans, uh, 100 sick in Mayport, Florida and mysterious bird deaths investigated near Decano, Colorado. And that's about it for the earth changes. Now on uh, the Disaster Alert Network, uh, <clears throat> UB Alert, uh, they have flooding in Washington State. Uh, the city of Edmonds will have sandbags out and ready through the weekend when a Normally, high tides and rain may add up to flooding. And 
also let me switch over the page here uh, they're flooding in the United Kingdom uh, flash flood in middle America Honduras Honduras officials have evacuated at least 2,000 people along the Caribbean coast due to flooding following two days of torrential rain uh, more flooding in Australia weather forecasters have warned torrential rain that lashed out in North Queensland yesterday is bearing down on the state's southeastern region um, as floodwaters subside in Brazil death toll continues to rise Let's see if anything news popped up. Uh, more death toll rise from the flooding in the Philippines. And uh, they're still having problems. Uh, cold wave in China. Over 100 rescuers in the southwest China's Yunnan province ended the ordeal of 11 migrant workers on Thursday who had been trapped. more reports on Brazil 13 people rescued from blizzard in China and that's about it for the climate change reports today I know I just put out a video on the two suns about the the supernova that it could possibly happen uh, it's 1300 light years away I just thought it was kinda odd that this story came out um, now saying that it it should happen around 2012. That means they already know the SARS supernova, and uh, we're expecting to see those lights soon. Or um, definitely, if anybody can do a little more digging on that, that would be pretty cool. That was about all I saw on it, so I figured I'd just note it. Um, other than that, um, have a good day and enjoy it while you can. Thanks, guys.